What is up YouTube? It is me, Nicholas Bayless here, and I am back with another YouTube video, y'all. Yes, same day that I got the braids installed. I'm back to y'all with another YouTube video. Um, so I'm gonna do a reaction. So um if you watched my last video when I was showing y'all the braids, um I told y'all I was gonna meet up with my friend. And go to Target and get our prior outfits. Come to find out, she already went to go get hers without even telling me. But anyway, anyway, I got mine. So, um, while we was on our way there, um, she was talking to me about this video that um she saw about Target. This lady at Target. Uh, she was feeling some type of way because um, kids are being spo exposed to I guess like the LGBTQ lifestyle at a young age um, so I had my friends send me the video because as soon as she told me what was going on and I watched a little bit of the video I was like oh yeah I'm going to watch the rest of this on my YouTube channel because I got something I want to say. I got something I want to say. But we got to hurry this up because, baby, it's late. And, yeah, I got to go to work in the morning. Um, so, I'm going to watch the video off my phone. But I'm going to put it on the screen so y'all can watch it with me. You know what? Matter of fact, y'all see the video. I'm gonna put it right here. Y'all watch it in its entirety. So I am in Target here in Texas and I want you guys to see what um, is being sold in Target for our children, okay? So they have a whole pride collection, not just for adults, but now it's being offered to children who don't even have a right to, to even stand for what is right. They're already pushing the agenda to our babies. They have this, be proud, being proud, a pride, pride outfit for a newborn baby. I just want y'all to see this, it's for kids. I want y'all to see what's going on. They got music, they got albums. They got albums for our children to listen to that talks about girls uh, liking girls and closer, let's have a kiwi. This is for kids, it's for children. This ain't for adults, it's for children. And this is where we are spending our money in a store that is pushing an agenda that is antichrist, that goes against God, and it is trying to defile and take our children. Listen, this enemy is after our seed. And if we don't become vocal, and if we don't stand against this, they are going to destroy our seed our seed they're going to destroy the legacy of holiness and of righteousness and what god intended in the beginning of the earth for a man and a woman to produce children and for them to produce the same thing marriage is honorable and it should be between a man and a woman not man and a man not between a woman and a woman and it should not be passed down to our children i want you all to see this six to nine months just be you and feel the love do you all see this it's they're starting at newborn at newborn and this is where we're putting our money my queer year i want you all to see it they got cards they even got bibs for the children and this is where we're, we have to stop if we don't stand for something we will fall for everything we need to be vocal against this kind of stuff all this small time stuff we fussing about that holds no kingdom weight let's use our energies let's use our voice let's stand and boycott against every target that feels okay to carry this type of stuff pride cookies and pr kitchen uh 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 wear and, and utensils and look at this look they're pushing it proud 
And, and what better name? Pride. Because that is the spirit in which homosexuality, transgenderism, the LGBTQ community, that is the spirit in which it operates in, in pride. And then they're going to nerve to have the rainbow as their symbol because that is mockery against what God has intended in the Bible. The rainbow was always indicative and a symbolism of God's promise to mankind. It is not supposed to be used to promote a lifestyle that goes against his promise. This to me is disgusting. This to me has to be stopped. And I believe that Christians now more than ever, it's time for us to go stand in front of targets and we boycott. We speak out against everything else. But when it comes to this, we are quiet. We are silent. We take the back seat and we're hushed. We're in hush mode against this spirit that is trying to take over. Now I'm in Texas and I already know Texans, y'all got some integrity. I believe there's some citizens, kingdom citizens in Texas that ain't going to allow this to continue. I'm at the, t the target in Cedar Hill. I'm going to hit every target I can until we make a noise for them to pull this stuff off the shelf. And, and, and we say enough is enough. And until you move it, we will not give you a dime of our money target. This has to be stopped. Uh, I was very upset with this woman. Because the very first thing that came to my mind when I saw like the first probably 45 seconds of this video was that I'm like she's very homophobic very homophobic she's come out they're pushing the agenda on our kids on babies that can't even stand up for what what's right first of all when your kid grows up he or she will have a mindset of their own. So if they grow up and be like, oh, I like girls, or oh, I like guys, that's them, that's their lifestyle. That's who they like, that's who they love. You can't do nothing but love them for it. So I said that to say, you don't know what your child is gonna feel on the matter while you sitting up talking about we're pushing an agenda on them. Do you think when your child grows up that they're gonna feel it's an agenda being pushed on them? An agenda being forced on them? Baby, nobody is holding a gun up to their heads and being like, oh, you have to wear this. They're kids, they're babies. For all you know, they could be the ones walking around the store like, oh, mommy, look, look, rainbow colors or whatever they know about. Or it, they can just see their favorite color, pink, and be like, oh, mommy, this has pink in it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Like, ma'am, I need her to go have several seats and go play with somebody else. I, I'm so sick and tired of homophobic people. Nothing is being pushed on y'all. Just like us gays have to be comfortable with you guys frolicking around heterosexual norms. Like y'all um, man and woman holding hands in public or the um, stereotypes that a man has to be with a woman. All, this, all these heterosexual norms. Y'all enforcing that on people. Nobody really is enforcing this gay agenda on people. No one is forcing it. It's just what's becoming real now. It's becoming accepting. It wasn't so accepting, baby. It's always been around. Honey, your baby daddy might be gay. Your daddy might be gay. Your brother, your nephew, your cousin might be gay. Some of you, the females in your family might be gay, sweetie. Probably been gay. Ma'am. Y'all, I'm sorry. I didn't even finish watching. Oh, crap, y'all. I didn't even put my, um, my do-rag on right. Okay. But, um, 
Yeah, y'all. I was so irritated watching that video. The little couple of seconds of the video that I did watch. I was very annoyed by it. Y'all can watch the whole video. If you skipped it, you skipped it. But I'm not going to go back and watch that video. Because it ain't going to do nothing but infuriate me. Because um, as a person that was bullied like most people in the LGBT community. Especially some of the um, males in the LGBT community. I don't stand for none of that. I don't stand for the homophobic remarks. I don't stand for all that. Baby, keep that to yourself. We ain't sitting up here talking about, and I know this is two different things, but we ain't sitting up here talking about how you fucking on somebody's husband. Oh! But you want to sit up here and talk about, they kill me. And I say this every time I get on here. They kill me when they try to make it seem like homosexuality is the biggest sin in the world. No, it's not. It's not the biggest sin and it's not the only sin in the world. Like, man, what is you saying? What is you talking about? People just annoy me and they just irritate me. And my friend said something too. She was like, if I'm in the LGBTQ lifestyle and I have a same-sex significant other and we have a kid together, I would raise them in that lifestyle. Many people are going to raise their children to be accepting of their lifestyle. Come on now. Who is going to be um, in an LGBT community and they're going to be sitting up here raising a child against the LGBT community? Nobody. It's up to them. You're going to raise them to be loving and accepting of the community. And if they grow up older and they come to their own... Um, Opinions about the community and they dislike the community or whatever the case may be, that's them. But you've always raised them to love, respect, and honor the people in the community and the community. But it's on them once they get older. You feel me? They have a mind of their own. You can tell them what to do. Y'all, but she kind of irritated me talking about some they're forcing this, they're forcing this. Girl, nothing is being forced, sweetie. It's adults that's up in the store that want to buy that. And if they want to buy that for their kids, okay. It's up to the parent if they want to buy it for the kid. The kid don't got the money. They ain't walking up to the cash register and giving them the, the $20, $30, dollars $100 for the outfit. Ma'am, just say that you are against the community. That's all you got to say. I don't understand the hatred. Like, we in 2023. Love is love. Like, in this prime month, I'm having this discussion at the right time. And I'm going to keep saying this. From a person that was scared to come out to friends and family that was hiding in the closet, that was secretly peeping boys and not trying to make it noticeable. I don't want nobody else having to go through what I went through. And I'm sure other people that are in the community, they don't want anyone that they know going through what they went through. So, of course, we advise you to come out. Be yourself. Love you. You don't love you if you hiding you to protect the image. To protect how somebody is going to feel. Sometimes you have to get to a selfish point in life. Where you're like, man, F their feelings. My feelings matter. What about my feelings? I'm supposed to sit up here and act like I'm not in love with him or I'm not in love with her just because I'm trying to protect your feelings, how you feel, how it's going to make you look, how it's going to make you feel. No, I really love this person. I really care for this person. This person really love me. This person really care for me. I'm just supposed to sit in the corner and be depressed and be sad. And minimize my feelings to accommodate yours? No. No. I had to get out of that mindset. Like, yes, I was the son of one of the church mothers. Church mothers, yes. 
So of course y'all know that they was against like gays. You feel me? Y'all know how church people are. Even when I did tell her that I was gay, she ended up telling the church. She and this is not to speak ill about her. This is my life. This is something that happened. This is something that affected me. She went and told the church and they had their opinions about me and um, I had to remove myself from the church for a while and I often felt that like going to church was my safe space. Like honestly as a kid I love going to church. I love worshiping God. I love praising God because I'm like this is a man that's there for me. He knows all about me. He still loves me. But then when you feel me people started coming at me sideways because um, they found out I was gay. I'm like, wow. And they started telling me all this negative stuff. Like, oh, you're going to hell. God don't like gays. And all this other stuff. You need to get your right, your life right with the Lord before you die. And all this other stuff. And I'm like, wow, God, you really feel like that towards me? I thought you loved me. Like, you really felt like that towards me. And I really had to get in a mindset. It did take me some time. But I really had to get to a mindset where I'm like, this isn't God. God is love. This isn't him. This is people. This is people. Their own opinions and their own beliefs. And they're trying to put the blame on God as to why they're acting this way. No. No. I had to get out of that mindset. Like, I really had a problem with my adopted mom for a long time. And I really, truth be told, hated God for a while. And I hated the fact that I even hated God for a while. But you know what? I had to come out of that. I really did. I had to come out of that. I'm out of it now. I love myself more than anything. I, baby, I don't play when it comes to me. And some of y'all need to have that same attitude. Don't play when it comes to you. Them trying to make you minimize who you truly are is them playing with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's them playing with you. Oh, I'm getting mad. Hold on. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just very passionate about people living in their truth. Like, I don't understand why we still got people that are so homophobic in the year of 2023. But anyway, y'all leave whatever y'all got to say down in the comments below. This was another Speak On It Saturday's video. And... Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all like it. I didn't say this in the last video, but happy Pride Month. And yes, yes, I will be attending Pride this year. I'm all, I've am i already worked it out. I'll be off work. You feel me? Got my outfit together. The braids will be intact. So if you see me at Pride, be like, oh, hey, Nicholas. Hey. I love you. I watch your videos. Let me take a picture with you. And I will take a picture because I'm going to be feeling like a bad I'm going to be feeling like a baddie. Sorry to the kids that watch this video. I cuss because I got a little frustrated. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos on the way. Okay? <laughs> Bye.